Just looking at mountains is breathtaking, but to actually interact and be with them every day is an honour. Skiing, it's like this extension of myself that I could not live without. You know, I can go skiing with my next door neighbour who's six years old and we can go have an epic day. And to see them having fun makes me have fun. And that's what it's all about, seeing that little girls and little boys can like shred and they're just out there by themselves creating their own adventure and pushing their own limits. And I just hope that we continue making this progression with females and males kind of like equal. I think the really special and cool thing about being a female in this industry is that we have we have so much further that we can go. There's there's a lot of untapped potential at the moment and it's it's going to be really exciting to see what happens like over the next kind of 20 years in snow sports. I think it brings out of a lot of like those really beautiful traits of being a woman when you're like surrounded by that whole like feminine energy. It's just yeah, you kind of don't like hold anything back. I have honestly, I've never been asked about my experience as a woman in sport um, by anybody really until this. So yeah, I guess I find it a, a pretty confronting because you actually have to think about what it was like and you know, was it what I like wanted it to be and how could it have been better? Yeah, nobody's ever asked. Figures which were released very recently around media coverage of females in sport, they were celebrating the increase from 15% to 17%. That is the reality of how females are showcased in sports media in New Zealand. As an industry, we've been reducing women to lifestyle. And 2020, we posted 153 posts from May to October. About 53 of them were stuff that didn't have people in them. Out of the 100 other posts that we did, the posts that had people in them, 29 posts that included women in any way. 14 of those were lifestyle. You know, just standing on the snow looking pretty, carrying their skis or their snowboard. The other 15 had women actually seeing your snowboarding in them but most of them were in clips or photos with men as well. So there was nothing that was just women, just speaking to women. And when you look at our audience, it kind of felt like a self-fulfilling prophecy. We had about 40% of our audience were women and only 15% of our posts had women skiing or snowboarding to them. It kind of felt like we weren't even talking to the audience that we had. I've gone out skiing with friends who have been shooting and they'll shoot everybody except me. It kind of reinforces that feeling that you're not good enough to be on camera. That's the reason why there's, no, there's not as much funding for, for female sports and things like that because nobody's actually putting it in the media and getting the coverage. That's what's really sad about it is it's, it's kind of like a never-ending cycle where it's like you're not getting funding because you're not getting exposure and because you're not getting exposure you're not getting funding so you don't get exposure and it's just like ugh. Do you guys remember the TC ad where there was a guy, a snowboarder, sneaking out. There was a poster and his girlfriend's like tied to the bed. Like she doesn't, she doesn't snowboard, she doesn't like snowboard. It's ludicrous, eh? Just like all the ads that we're talking about when, for Kajona, I think it was like way back in the day when there was like the man skiing and the woman just sitting. In, in the corner drinking yeah. coffee. I was, yeah, taken on shoots just to like model clothing and not snowboard at all. I don't know, that was really, really confronting because it was when I was quite young as well. I was just like, what? But I snowboard just as well as these guys. And I think I made like the personal choice when I was young to not allow myself to go down that path and kind of like exploit myself and just like remain the athlete I wanted to be. But I know that's really hard 
for a lot of women, especially when you need the funding and you need the sponsorship. And I think a lot of brands do take that too far. I feel the pressure to use like more of your body, I guess, to to make yourself more valuable for brands, to like to get more of a following. But it's like, well, I don't really want to do that because I'm an athlete and I'm here to ski. My dad told me when I was growing up, you'll get along just fine as long as you assume that everyone is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I guess you can take that to social media. There's a lot of worry with how you'll be judged. I've sat on chairlifts as a kid and listened to guys bag out the girl in the park who's doing straight airs and not doing tricks. I had a run posted by somebody um, last year and it wasn't my best skiing, it wasn't my best run and things like um, who did she have to sleep with to get there, she's putting people at risk by being on that course. It was really, really sad to see that people couldn't get their head around the fact that the girls started, like the, the, the guys started 20, you know, 15, 20 years ago doing these things and the girls didn't have that opportunity to do that, so we're catching up. Mark my words, we're catching up. <laughs> <laughs>
It definitely takes more encouragement right from the lower level of uh, making spaces safe for girls. Making girls feel welcome, telling girls that they can do it. One of my biggest pet peeves is being told by coaches, oh, you should ride like a guy. What? I'm not a guy. Like, I want to be told, oh, you should ride like a girl, or look at this girl, for an example, or look up to this girl. I have so much respect for boys riding, like snowboarding and skiing, but if I'm a female athlete, I want to ride like myself. I want to ride like a girl. Well, I started HPC, which is like a program up Cardona, um, when I was 16. And I think it was good that I had the time to get to know snowboarding beforehand, because I was scared of snowboarding, like hitting those big jumps. We don't have like that crazy adrenaline that guys get. I guess some do, but um, I didn't. And I think people should know that starting late is okay and it's never too late to start. Mm -hmm. In terms of those biological differences at that neuro level, I like to focus more on like the culture of gender differences. And I think, yes, we're born with different brains. Um, and yes, we can see that on images and we can test for that, but our brains are neuroplastic, which means they change in response to our experience of things. So, you know, if you're being treated like your brain is different, then your brain will be different because your brain changes in response to what it experiences in the world. So if we're told, you know, like women are more like this and men are like this, then the men and women are gonna like take that on and embody that. And then we start to see that not just behaviorally, but also at a structural level. That gender gap I think is way more nurture and way more cultural, which is exciting because we can change that. I guess talking about more equitable um, opportunities for women as opposed to equality. So if you have like 50-50 male, female um, skiers on the mountain and then if you superimpose on that the small portion of women in media that's typical, um, that doesn't really help women become excellent at their sport. But what you're doing by highlighting women is going to help them catch up mm. so that we see that 50-50 representation right to the top of sport. Mm. I think like having more conversations about it, especially with men, it just like makes it feel, yeah, a bit more unique and special, yeah. For me that's like the vision, is that in the end we're not going to be talking about girl skiers yeah. and boy skiers or men and women, anyone will just be a skier. Yeah. I want other girls' little internal voices to be like, yeah, you've got this. Like, oh, they're doing it, you can do it too. <laughs> you should do it too, get after it. I would say just be brave, just if you want it enough and you love it enough, just do it, just give it a go. You can't control like what you're getting paid, what the people are saying on Instagram, you know, what the industry is doing, how many features a female athlete has in a film. You can control like how you're skiing and how you're responding to that. I think it's been the biggest privilege. If you see what girls are doing now on snowboards and skis, it's just yeah, absolutely phenomenal. And I'm just so stoked to be a part of that and have that behind me to grow into the rest of my life as a woman. Wouldn't change it. <laughs>